Hi hey everybody, here we are about to factor a quadratic trinomial, classic example. It is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. More specifically, it's of this form where the a value is equal to one, and that makes most people pretty happy. So if we're going to do this, we could kind of do a little bit of our ac method, which means you're multiplying a and c, which will give us 30. You List off your pairs of factors that multiply to give you 30. I'm going to go in order 1 and 30, 2n, 15, 3n, 10, 4 does not go. To check 4, you could double 2 to make 4. That means you would cut 15 in half. And since 15 is odd, you can't. So that's how you know it doesn't work. 5 and 6, and we're done because the next number is 6. It's already on the list. We're good. Bottom of the list, b equals 11. So now what we want to know is which pair of numbers we're going to use for factoring. Now, a couple quick tricks. If this is a plus sign right over here, that means when all is said and done and we're factored, that both of our factors, both binomials, will be um, um, combined. You know, the two pieces of the binomial will be combined with plus signs. If this is a plus sign, but that one is a minus sign, that means they will both be minus signs. And if that's a minus sign, I don't care what that is, you'll have one of each. All right, so if you need that in your notes, ax squared plus bx plus c, both plus, both parentheses will have a plus. Oops, kind of cut off. There we go, sorry. Uh -uh, there we go. If ax squared is minus bx plus c, both parentheses, will be minus. And last, third case is ax squared plus or minus bx minus c. That means you'll have a plus and a minus and you got to be a little bit more, you know, thinking on your on your feet to figure it out. So let's get through this because my dog wants to go outside. So I am going to have two plus two positive numbers and I need them to add to give me 11 and I see them right over here. If you're gonna do this the fast way, x squared, we don't have a lot of options. What multiplies to give us x squared? x and x. Here's the five and the six, boom. When does this trick work? Only when a is one. However, if you're accustomed to grouping, you go ahead with x squared plus five x plus six x. You use the five and the six to split the middle, plus 30. Underline, underline, greatest common factor. Here's x, here's plus six. X comes out front, plus six comes out front. Figure out what's inside by handy dandy pretzel method. X squared over X is X. Five X over X is five. It's not five X and it's not four X. No, it's just five, just five. Six X over six, six, six is X. 30 over 6 is 5. What do they have in common? They both have an x plus 5. Factor that out front. If I pull that out front, what's left is x plus 6. You get the same answer either way. I hope you like that example. I hope you got it right. I hope you feel smart. I hope you know that you could check it with FOIL or distribution and get back the original problem. You know you're in good shape. So if you're smart, thumbs up. If you're struggling at the moment, put a thumbs down and click through for the next example. Adios.